drive into Cartagena, Colombia. Um, honestly, right now it's it's 88 degrees back in New York City. It's about um, 29 degrees. Um, so I think this was a good move to come here. You're gonna follow me along this journey to Cartagena. Right now I'm trying to get to the Airbnb. Um, I took an Uber and I think the Uber is calling me. Hola. Hi. Habla ingles? Um, si, um, I, um, where are you? Um, oh, one, un momento. So I'm trying oh. to get into the Uber. I don't know, they, she what only speaks the Spanish. So the police has tried to help me. Um, Hello. Hello. No problem, amigo. No viene. No te llevo. Sale la curva. El Lara. Sale la. Ah, tiene que ser la morena esa que estaba ahí. La que estaba aquí no. Tiene que ir a la curva. Por eso está la esquina. Está en la ventana que está allá. En toda la, el Lara, ¿sabes la esquina? La, la otra cuadra. Bueno, en toda la esquina. Es para mí hoy, no buena suerte. Ok. Ah. Oh. So I don't know if I put in the correct address. The address is kind of confusing here, by the way. Um, so the address is 40, well. Where are you going? So I don't, I, I don't know if that's the address I put in on Uber. Is it correct from Uber? This is part of traveling, eh? Like, you're gonna have these experiences where you don't speak the language, you have to figure out who can get you help. And part of that for me was getting to the police, right? Policia. So, I'm just here, waiting to get in. Um, just arrived. Um, and it just feels so refreshing to be away from 20 degree weather. And to be able to step into some heat, even though I'm waiting. Um, yeah, this is good. I'm gonna go get something to eat after my bags. Um, yeah, but I guess this is something of him. I just wanted to come on and give you guys a tour of <laughs> the room. Honestly, it's a really nice Airbnb. Um, this is the one of the main bedrooms, and this bedroom. This bedroom leads to um, a balcony, then it, which is gonna be the same balcony ooh, that the living room leads to. So this is the twenty-third floor. Um, very nice, very nice. Then here comes the living room um, and kitchen area. Um, so by now I had already, I had already, you know, gone out and done some shopping. So I went to the market and got me some, um, you know, I haven't seen these in forever. They don't sell them in, um, New York. These are called guavas. You know, in Spanish, I think they're called guayaba and papaya, you know, orange and some bread. Oh my God, the bread is mashed up and I picked some um, just a quick snack up and you know some granola just to snack on so this is the kitchen area they have a laundry in there and this is the second 
bathroom. There are two bathrooms in this Airbnb, the second one and the second room with two beds. Um, so yeah, this is basically the room, um, the Airbnb. I didn't show you the um, first bath. Well, this is the master bathroom, if you would say. Um, again, I was already in here, already showered, <laughs> just showered. Um, it's a pretty nice bathroom. Again, this window opens to the um, balcony as well. So, this is the tour of the Airbnb. Um, again, I'm in Cartagena, Colombia. Um, I'm going to be here for three weeks. And so basically, I'm looking forward to what Cartagena has and then what Medellin has, um, but it's going to be an experience and it's um, and I'm looking forward to it Toya comes tomorrow So, you know I'm trying to figure out if I'm gonna try to do some excursion tomorrow before the work week begin, but let's see I'll keep you updated. Ciao for now um, Hey youtubers, thank you all again for Tune it into the um, my vlog. I was about to say the Young Black Travelers <laughs> blog, which we're still part of the Young Black Travelers blog. I'm closing out this this um, vlog just by you know you know just telling like where I am. Obviously, you guys know that I'm in Colombia, but you know I just wanted to just go over quickly like why I decided to come to Colombia. Um, so basically, I'll be in Colombia for about three weeks. Um, I'll be in three, in three weeks in Colombia. I'll be. I'm currently in Cartagena, and then um, I'm gonna go to Medellin. So interestingly, the whole thing about Colombia came up because, like most of us, we are working from home. I work in New York, and most most people's jobs um, they're working from home, especially if you have that um, flexibility. And so therefore, because of that, I was like, okay, I'm working from home. I'm literally at my computer um, between either nine to five. And I'm like, maybe I should just work from somewhere else. As long as I have Wi-Fi, I could do my job. And the idea came, I was on Clubhouse and someone was talking about, you know, digital nomads and, you know, basically, basically doing this, like, we have this opportunity right now. Um, let's not waste it. You know, God has given us a chance and the opportunity to just basically go go wherever we want. Um, but the big thing that I think has been holding many of us back is fear. Like when I thought about this whole thing, I was so fearful. I'm like, what if I don't have Wi-Fi? What if the Wi-Fi go out like this, that, or the third? And I was fearful. And literally, as the idea came, I called. I called people I knew who were working from home and who would be able to go. So like I called Toya and Toya was literally like, I was actually thinking about that. Um, and she talked about fear. Fear was that thing that was holding her back from doing, you know, whatever she wanted to do this year. And I called another friend. He um, <laughs> did, he's not coming. Toya is coming tomorrow. Um, so basically, Toy and I, we're going to be in Colombia for, she's going to be here for two weeks. I'm going to be in Colombia for three weeks. And basically, I'm going to be working from here, you know, Monday through Friday. We're on our jobs at whatever time we, we, we usually are on our jobs. In the evening, I'm sure we're going to be going out and exploring the town. And on the weekends, we're also going to be just doing a whole lot of excursions and just doing different things. Living life, being free. Um, because being in New York, honestly, felt like a person. Though it, I mean, I, I, I'm grateful for, for, for the blessings and, you know, having a home and all of those things. But... I still felt limited being in New York and I think honestly coming here on my first day I felt so free I'm walking down the street in 90 degree weather um, and I just can't 
wait to see what the remainder of this trip looks like uh, i'm sure it's gonna be great so stay tuned i'm gonna try to keep um you updated i'm gonna be trying to post a picture on young black travelers blog i'm not gonna be posting on my personal instagram because i want to get everyone to young black travelers um and i'm also gonna be uploading on the youtube so just stay tuned we'll be uploading content here for you I know my hair is probably looking a little bit crazy because I'm trying to loose it out. You know, I'm doing this drop, those those twist thingy, twist out. I think that's what they call them. That's how I usually, I, it usually starts this way. Then I twist it out, so I'm loosening it out. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so stay tuned. Uh, the journey is beginning.